Today, we're going to be adding working engines to the spaceship. Let's go ahead and bring this to the workbench and kind of get started here. So the first thing we need for these two engines is hydrogen and oxygen, which we have in these tanks right here. So let's go ahead and select them and see which one is hydrogen and oxygen. So right here is air and they're both air. Okay, yeah, so I forgot to select them. So let's go ahead. Is air oxygen? Okay, nope, that's oxygen. So we're going to switch um, all of them to oxygen on just that side. And then the next one will be hydrogen. Perfect. So now we should be able to basically just connect these pipes right here here which are on the bottom of each and every one of them let's go ahead and turn on symmetry so we can see them so where are the actual areas at okay so right here is where the pipe is at on the bottom part right there so let's go ahead and delete this actual main line right here because this is actually probably just gonna be aligned with pipes and then we have to connect them all to the main rocket boosters which are down here whoops i accidentally made some of those nitrogen instead of hydrogen okay so now we need some pipes to actually line this straight to these um rocket boosters down there to actually you know like like make some explosions to launch us in the air for that to happen let's go ahead and grab some hydrogen so hydrogen will be this one right here and wait should we have symmetry on actually you know what just for now we're gonna turn on symmetry so we're gonna turn on symmetry just like that have these two pipes actually go into the same pipe in the center here let's go ahead and line these pipes straight up to the ceiling here and we're just gonna line this straight to the hydrogen wherever it's at it's on this right side here so we have to somehow connect all of this okay now we can turn off symmetry and kind of line this um, pipe here straight to the hydrogen spot right here perfect so then we need some enclosed pipes for this to actually work or else we'd have kind of a leakage actually not a leakage it's just kind of like look really weird without being enclosed so we're gonna do that and then once we get to this point right here we're gonna keep it completely enclosed so we need a t-piece pipe right here and the t-piece will go up down sideways and down perfect and then we need the straight pipe which will go straight vertical and connect to all the other hydrogen ones so we're gonna connect this hydrogen one to the same pipe and perfect just like this so we just have to do this a couple more times here and i don't know if we actually have enough fuel to get the space so we have to test that, of course, because I really don't think we do. A lot of other um, YouTubers are using like a lot more fuel than me. So I think we might have to um, add a couple more of these fuel tanks here. It might make the rocket a little bit taller, but you know, that might just work out. It might look um, a little bit cooler, you know. And last one for the hydrogen is this connection right here. And perfect. All right. So now our engines have hydrogen to them and now we need oxygen. OK, so these are also pretty important um, for down here. We're just going to keep them as pipes. Um, now we need a angled pipe to have it angled kind of sideways here. And we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side except it's oxygen this time perfect that mess is all done we have all of them actually connected so now our engines should technically just work and now we need buttons in here to actually do this so hold on i forgot to label these oh never mind i did label them thank gosh um for this launch thing right here we're gonna do srb launch and then srb release because i think that's what they're called i mean some people were telling me in the comments but i already forgot okay so we have those now we need buttons for our main engines here so we're gonna do main engines on so we're just gonna name this main engines perfect just like that and we also need a throttle that's very important and this throttle can't be like over 0.25 i've heard it's not really good fuel efficiency after that so let's go ahead and connect this that is a lot of stuff okay throttle i think that's all we need for that okay throttle what does gimbal x and y do is that like thrust vectoring i don't know if you guys know what that is but it's pretty cool stuff and then ignition for both engines will be that and then there we go okay so this should technically already work we're gonna go and spawn this in and test it out of course so no clip straight into the um actual rockets right here and main engines on there we go and then throttle up oh it does work okay it is working oh yes that is awesome okay we need to turn down a little bit so we do have a working engine on this thing this is only for outer space we'll never use these engines actually in the atmosphere here we would use these cool little srb things because these srbs will um basically detach just like that we just launch them off and we should be in space should we try getting to space today i feel like that'd be a good idea all right so for getting to space today let's see we definitely need to make this entire area right here enclosed so i think we can do that since we've basically gotten everything done in the inside like all the pipes that's the only reason i really left it open to be honest so we're gonna go ahead and close this we don't need the space currently touching our fuel tanks that'd be kind of bad okay we're gonna close all this stuff i feel like it kind of looked cool open but you know we just have to close it okay there we go it looks a little bit interesting now we definitely need to add like some type of design on the side there maybe something uh, i don't know what it would be but i don't know how we're gonna actually aboard this thing maybe we could have a massive ladder climb up the side we could do that because it is flat there so it'd be the perfect spot for a ladder i hate trying to rotate these things like the perfect direction like that okay perfect and now what we're gonna do 
do is go ahead and grab a ladder that climbs all the way up the side of this thing and starts like right here. So I don't know how we're going to get up to that ladder, but we'll try figuring that out here maybe. So we'll just line the ladder straight up into the air. Perfect. Hopefully that doesn't mess with any aerodynamics or something. But what we're going to do now is go ahead and spawn the default preset rocket right next to mine and kind of copy some stuff from it because I honestly have no idea how to keep this thing like stable in the air. And this thing isn't stable like at all, but um, it's, it's a little bit better. So what did they do to this rocket here to make it so not it's not really good so here we go a and d is let's see it's connected to x okay that kind of does make sense so x is connected to a and d and this is the pilot c right here so a and d is connected to x on both things okay there we go and then i'm guessing y is w and s so we're just going to do that i don't care if it's wrong because we'll definitely notice it okay w and s is uh z wait is z the right thing z z z is that the right thing on this do i even have the rocket the right way hold on let's check um i don't think i do okay hold on let's just uh take this thing off and see if it actually is the right way okay go on the pilot seat right here clear for takeoff main engines here we go and can i control it oh i can control it oh that's awesome but it's kind of interesting okay um definitely need to add like some type of clamp to it because this is very touchy let's see does d work and d is the opposite way i think yeah something's going on with this they must have like made a clamp for the seat in here so it wouldn't go like that far so let's go in here go at w and s a and d it's all at 10 percent that's actually kind of interesting it's the preset number so this is the same like settings as this one over here it acts the same basically so what we're gonna do to make it like less touchy we're gonna go to a and d w and s and put it to let's say five percent we definitely don't need it to be that aggressive all right let's spawn this in again test it out since it's on a less sensitive mode and the backup oh don't hit the rocket no don't tip it over guys i don't know why they made this like a launching site right here with this massive like hole in the ground that falls straight down like why did they do that so now what we need to do is kind of rotate these so they don't fall in the hole perfectly just like that and hopefully it should be fine now that thing has some trouble just trying to stand vertically okay so clear for takeoff three two one here we go we are in the air and let's kind of test our controls now so we're going straight up perfectly which is actually not what we were doing the other time so we're doing really good now um do we have controls for a and d d goes right and and a goes left which is kind of what we want w and s uh let's see w and s yep those do definitely work oh we yeah we definitely need to make a clamp on those or some type of gyro here so let's see can we do a gyro on this let's go ahead and grab a gyro i don't know guys this might be a very bad idea but we'll see here where's our logic room it's straight down here we'll put this right there okay and then let's go ahead and connect all this stuff right here so so A and D is our, what is that even? Is that our roll or our pitch? Okay, I know what W and S is here. We'll just do W and S first. So pitch is our W and S. So pitch and then pitch stabilize. A and D barely even does anything. So now if we click W, ooh, okay. So I think our gyro is like inverted or something because something's definitely not working here. So now we got a numerical inverter. Hopefully this actually does something here because if it doesn't, we'll have some issues and it's connected to both of these front ones right here. Perfect, done, connected, spawn it in. And let's go ahead and no clip in it. Test it out here. Please work. Okay, let's see if gyros actually work on rocket ships. Okay, there we go. It's much more stabilized now. Let's go ahead and click S here. And wow. Okay, so gyros do actually work. This is really good, actually. So our pneumical inverter basically solved that problem here. Now we have a very stabilized spacecraft that I could fly straight up. And I think there's like a hover mode I can click. Uh, I don't, I didn't add the button, but uh, once we click the hover mode, it'll go probably straight up. I don't know if that how it works, but you know, maybe. But yeah, we have a super stabilized rocket ship going straight up wait guys hold on i think we have our boosters actually the wrong way look at this so this one's facing up and left ours is facing up and uh the same direction are those supposed to be the same direction i don't know hold on we need to look at a different rocket all right so we have this rocket right here let's go into the logic menu and they don't actually have anything connected to them but they're the same way i don't know if that really matters but what they did is actually use reaction wheels which is like a wheel that spins really fast i think so um where did they put these at? yeah so they kind of look like radars it's these little circle things and it's like they're pretty heavy i think actually no they're not but they kind of they rotate that's all they do and which direction did they put these because we need to like copy that exact thing because it works okay so we'll just remember this exact uh, rotation there we put those straight up and we just connect those to a and d and i think that's all we do so let's go ahead and grab our rockets here and go and put some reaction wheels in this thing i guess and ooh, do we even have any room for these guys i don't know if we do you know hopefully this isn't an issue but we're just gonna put them right here in the front area um here how about should we put 
put them like near the center. I feel like the center would definitely be a better area for this. So we'll put them near the center of mass and then we'll put like three or four because I don't even know how to use these at all. We have four down and then we need to connect A and D to them and then it should all just go to plan here. So that's our last resort option. We're going to go ahead and put A and D at 53%. Okay, this should definitely help it out a little bit. Let's go ahead and enter the spacecraft here and oh, wrong seat. Okay, A and D is on this one right here. Uh, engines are on A and D does nothing. Guys, I don't know what's going on with these react. Wait, it's kind of, wait, I think it is working. It's just really slow. It is working. Wait a second, guys. Look at the rocket boosters. When I hit D, they like go out more. Oh, I understand it now. Okay, so those just need to be pointed the same direction. It's basically countering itself. All right, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and rotate this one right here. And that also means we have to rotate some other stuff here. Oh, not that way. Uh, Something like that. Is that the correct way? I don't know. Nope, that's the big arrow. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now it's the same way. Now we need to make sure the, the actual connections are the right ones here because if they're not that might be very bad so do we have to swap them which one is this okay that's hydrogen and um hydrogen is not that one but actually yeah it is okay so we don't even need to swap the connections i don't think um of course here once we test it we'll be able to see if our engine doesn't even work at all so uh and main engines are on throttle it up and yeah we do have it working and okay it definitely does work is it still at 50 percent hold on did i uh keep it at 50 a and D is at 50%. Okay, we're going to put it down to 10. So we are getting like five times the amount of pull that we should have been right there. So a little bit concerning. Uh, restart main engines, full throttle. A and D does work. Okay, perfect. All right, so now we have a working system. I definitely need to make this a little bit less sensitive. Wait a second. You know what? We'll just connect this to the gyro because I definitely can tell this thing needs some gyro put into it. So let's go ahead and see what we should do with this. Okay, where's the gyro at? It's somewhere up here. And then we'll go ahead and connect stabilized roll. We'll connect roll to A and D. And then A and D will go straight to our... Which ones is it again? Hold on. We need to just go up here and check. It goes straight to these ones right here. A and D goes there and now we should have stabilized roll perfect um i think it needs a numerical inverter like the other one definitely okay so we're in a flat spin in a rocket ship let's bring this to the workbench grab a numerical inverter it's still in my inventory how convenient we'll put it straight behind the gyro connect inverted number two Ooh, which one do we connect that to i think it's these ones down here hold on let's double check so we'll go ahead and connect a uh, stabilized roll to that and then which one's it connected to it's connected to the x ones okay and then the numerical inverter will go straight to the x ones and now it should work if it does we have issues main engines on and we are in the air we're not spinning at all okay so that must have been the trick and a and d does work wait it's opposite okay so how should we make it not opposite i think i have to swap the boosters the other way oh no wait no it isn't opposite i was just looking at it the wrong way so it is opposite if i look this way um actually no it's opposite if i look this way okay so that's a bit confusing so always look the way that you have ladders and that's up okay that's how you know you're uh, facing the right direction but let's go ahead and not try Try diving this thing down. Let's see if we can actually get to outer space here and not, uh, you know, die. So we're going to go ahead and respawn this thing and activate SRBs. Hopefully these have enough fuel to get to space. All right. First space launch ever made by me in my own vehicle. Three, two, one, SRB launch. Here we go. So hopefully these will get us to outer space. Oh, I just realized I have no control with these. Okay. That's a little bit concerning. That might mean we have to activate our main boosters here just to actually maintain control. So we're going to try doing that. Let's see how good this works. Okay. Yep. We do have control. Great. And let's go ahead and make sure infinite fuel is off and it is so we're using purely our fuel tanks right now so hopefully we can get to space with these it's really wobbly though i need to do something about this our gyro kind of sucks and our srbs actually just ran out okay that did not bring us anywhere near space all right full throttle on the main engines here hopefully these will uh, be good for us release srb so we don't need those anymore perfect all right so now we're just this random looking spaceship i feel like this looks a little bit off if i'm gonna be honest but um hopefully it's fine i definitely should have made a dial that said how much fuel we have left but look at our rocket boosters those are still going strong and if they do run out of fuel they normally aren't having that much of an afterburner effect i don't think we're actually supposed to be on full there we go now it should be fine because you know we don't want to be using too much fuel for this and okay we're going straight vertical still going all to plan all of our very advanced um instruments in here are showing us everything that's going on gyro's looking great oh maybe we'll be in space with this one okay i don't want to just get to space i want to actually enter orbit you guys know okay so our rocket boost i really wish we had an altitude thing on here here you know what? we'll just full throttle for now 
There we go. We're on full speed. Our rocket boosters are still going strong. Wow, this thing actually has a lot of fuel to it. Well, you know what? I, I can't see the ground anymore, so I think we're making progress. Maybe in a bit here, we'll see the curvature of the Earth. I'm kind of seeing some rays here. And we've just actually ran out of fuel. It didn't even like slowly wear off. It just completely shut it down. Actually, it kind of appeared. Are we falling down? I think we definitely are. Okay, so I don't think we even made it near um, outer space. Well, that was an absolute fail. We didn't even get to outer space, but what we can do is kind of customize our boosters here. So that was the issue. These weren't actually um, good enough to power us up there. So what we need is medium ones. Actually, no, we used medium ones last time. We're using the large ones. So this is like the actual size of our rocket now. Okay, so we're using pretty large stuff. Uh, we need the large fuel for it also. Let's go ahead and place some large fuel on the side of this thing and make it orange. Yes, of course. Orange. Wait, were those blue? I think those are blue. Yeah, we're going to do blue, of course. Neotastic blue color will be currently being placed down the side of the spaceship. Oh, yeah. So this should have a lot of fuel to it. If this doesn't bring us to space, we have some other issues that we need to figure out. All right. So we're nearly at our rocket booster right now. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and grab the medium booster or no, that's the large one. Oh, yeah. I forgot we're upgrading here. There we go. Look at these rockets. That's like a ton of weight right there. And then we need to fix the situation going on up here. So we need to um, redo all of this. I think we've just really upgraded this. This has to work, guys. This has to work. What we're going to do now is just kind of flatten this out how we did it last time, except, you know, five times larger casual stuff going on and not have that curve right there. And OK, it's on the fine on that side. Let's go ahead and put those down. And then we need the pyramids inverse pyramids. Nope, they're just called pyramids. I don't know why I said inverse there, but the microcontroller on the top. We actually don't need that there anymore. We can put it inside the actual main body here. I'll show you guys what I mean. So we're going to go ahead and grab our selection menu here. Click clear. I don't know what we already had. Uh, copy the microcontroller, click L twice to get it completely inverted, click K, and we'll put it directly in the center. We're going to do the same on this side, so now we can't even see the microcontroller. It actually looks much nicer now and, you know, larger from all these boosters. And it should just work out perfectly to plan. So we're going to put that right there. Can we merge it in? Yes, we can. All right. So I don't even have to place blocks on the top. I love when that happens. That like honestly makes my day when that happens. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fill the top boosters part up right there. And there we go. You know, should we have these even out a little bit more? I feel like we maybe could do that. You know, never mind. We couldn't do that. That's actually impossible. So let's go ahead and test this out. Oh, we actually completely forgot something. Don't launch them yet. Okay. So for this microcontroller here, we connect this to launch and connect it to launch on this one also. And then then do we have all the composites still connected? I think we do. And then is there like a burn rate? Oh, there is. Do I have to customize this? Oh, I definitely do. Okay, so we're just going to put this down to 25%. Oh, the preset rocket had it just for like some testing here. So hopefully the same will work because the preset rocket can definitely get to space. All right, here we go. SRBs launch. And now we are going to space. Oh, yeah. Activate main engines just to like 13% here. So we can at least control the rocket itself. There we go. Here we go. We are going into the outer space here, hopefully. And we are being very inefficient right now by flying like in a squiggly line okay i'm trying to keep it vertical but this gyro is really kind of um countering that there we go and just gently counter it out right there okay now this should work out srbs please do not uh, run out of fuel yet i need to get much 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 higher this is definitely way too low for anything crazy to happen oh my gosh i definitely need to get like some type of better gyro of some sort to keep this thing level yep so we're having issues we're like not even leaving the atmosphere the srbs are still running strong so i'm kind of convinced that this could maybe make it to space but uh just on our current like flight systems it's not working too well uh we definitely need to get some type of gyro that's better than this crap default one but you know that's fine okay so srbs are still oh they've ran out okay uh release srbs full throttle here we go and now we should try being able to make it to space and without the srbs i can control this thing much better so we definitely need to fix some stability issues but yeah let's see if we can at least enter the atmosphere here and you know see the curvature of the earth that's really what i'm trying to see here i still forgot to add fuel dials and see how much fuel we have left i don't think we need to be on full throttle we'll do like 60 yeah we'll do 40 that'll work that's 50 nope we need 40 43 yep that'll work sure fine all that matters is that it just keeps propelling us up there and we see the curvature of the earth and don't drop an altitude okay i'm kind of seeing some of the rays that uh, look like the curvature but let's see if we just keep spinning here maybe it'll start appearing it's definitely getting much darker i can say that of course it's getting darker because we're getting um farther in the atmosphere here but i need to see the curvature come on we got this we got this keep powering through engines we are almost there actually i don't know how close we are oh yep i see it you guys see it the curvature of the earth it's right there we are in the atmosphere here we go guys we are actually here okay throttle up a little bit more that's awesome and 
and we've ran out of fuel. Okay, that's also really not good. Okay, so we just made it in the atmosphere, but we did run out of fuel, unfortunately. We're definitely making progress, so maybe we should try getting these reaction wheels working. I don't know how to do that, so we might have to do that in another video. Whoops, looks like I left a gap in between the actual fuel tanks and the um, rocket itself. Great. But guys, that's probably going to be it for this video. We got some powerful engines added, but not powerful enough. So that might be our future video of, of trying to tune those things and, you know, make them a little bit powerful so we can actually get into orbit. That sounds fun. But yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe, hit that bell, join the Discord. Link is in the description. But thanks for watching and goodbye.